Oh my gosh, tonight's gonna be so much fun. I know. I can't believe Maddie let parents let us come over when they weren't here. Glad you guys were able to come. Oh, me too. Oh my gosh, let's get it started. <laughs> Claire, how did you even convince your brother to get these for us? Oh my god, it was so annoying, but I had to do his chores for a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's worth it, honestly. Let's yeah. open it up. Our game sucked yesterday. Yeah, we deserve this beer. Yeah. Cheers to CIF. <laughs> Let's go sit on the couch. Okay. Sad. Dude, I don't know what I'm gonna do without you guys next year. Like, I don't think I'll be able to survive. I know, we actually had such a good season this year. That's yeah. sad. I'm out, let's go get some more. Yeah. Tequila? Yeah. yeah. Look at this kettle corn whiskey. Do you guys wanna try this? Yeah. yeah should I put it on my snap right? Oh my God, yeah. yes. Oh, let's try this instead. That was nasty. Yeah. What are we gonna tell our parents about school tomorrow? Just tell them that we had like subs in all our classes and they marked us absent. And we did. Yeah. And then we'll just go and get pink slips. Here, Maddie. Thank you, you guys want some more? Uh, yeah, I have some right here. I'm tired, are you guys trying to watch a movie now? Yeah, let's call it a night. What movie should we film? I don't even care. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what? 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 No, I'm no, on my I'm way, way right now. Right now. Starbucks, Starbucks, it, it was, was just, just, they were they like, like, they just went late. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there, there in, in two, minutes. two minutes. Yeah, I'll yeah, talk I'll to my talk teacher. To teacher. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Guys, wake up. Wake up right now. We have to go. We have to go to school. Why? What is going on? My mom called. She's gonna, I'm gonna get in I have the worst headache. Just, just take some more. The best way to cure a hangover. Just take it. We have to get in the car, guys. Come on, come on. Here, take it. Guys, let's go. Let's go. Come on, get in the car. car. My parents My are going to come home. We have to clean everything up. Dude, we need to get to school. What's going on? Why is she freaking out? I'm going to get so much trouble if I get marked absent. You can't. We need to go. Come on, guys, let's go. Oh, my gosh. Claire, pick up the alcohol. I can't leave any of this in the car. Let's go. I need to pick up the house later. I need to get to My mom is literally going to be home later today. Hurry up, Maddie. Come on. I'm trying. Just throw it in there. Where are you? My mom keeps calling. Why is she freaking out? I thought you said it was fine. I thought it was. We're gonna get in trouble, Maddie. Why are you guys blaming me? Fine. Claire. Gosh, my mom's calling again. Okay, well tell her that you're on your way. For PPR or what? Bro? Dude, I'm, I'm ready, but I think I'm gonna mess up. I haven't been on it before. Just don't mess up on Mike, bro. You'll be chilling. I mean, honestly, it's not it's not that big of a deal. I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. You'll be chilling. Hey, you got your pass yet or no? No, I need to grab it. Okay, but I'll meet you in the car. I'm gonna pull it up. And gotcha. Be, be, be. Maddie, slow down. Maddie, watch out. What are you doing? 
What are you doing? I'm fine. I literally haven't even drank that much. You're going off the road. I'm literally fine. You guys are being over dramatic. Hey, Miss Monty. Hey, Kyle. So I've got that uh, prep pigskin um, interview with KUSI yeah. today. So I was wondering if I could get my off-campus pass. Oh, yeah. Here. Good right, luck. Have a good day. All right, you too. I'm fine. I can drive. You're going way too fast. I know how to drive. Do you want to? Do you guys want to drive instead? What are you reporting? There's a really bad car crash. What's the location? Ramona High School. Okay, where at the high school is it? In the staff lot. How many vehicles are involved? There's two, a black one and a gray one. Does anyone need paramedics? Are there any visible injuries? Yes, there's someone through the windshield. All right, we have officers and paramedics on the way. Just let me know when you hear them coming in. Yes, the black one. <laughs> Riding with his friend Jamal, and they're involved in a car accident from Ramona High School. 
And unfortunately, Kyle passed away as a result. So I will need you guys to gather your belongings and um, follow us to Grace Community Church in Ramona. Part of your legs, you can't feel me touching you down here. You can't feel anything. How about up here in your stomach? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, yeah. squeeze my hands for me. Okay, good. Do you remember everything that happened? Uh, I remember I was pulling out and some girl hit me, but that's the only thing. Helmar, this is medic 81 with a major trauma. I have two major traumas in route. Year old female, approximately 35 minutes ago, she was an unmarried passenger of a small sedan, traveling at an unknown speed. Um, there was uh, remnants of alcohol in the vehicle. Um, she was ejected a uh, of three the entire time. We have um, a large hematoma, laceration of the forehead. Breast sounds are clear bilaterally. Distal pulse is weak. Is sedated. Wiggle your toes. Squeeze my finger. So, where's our other hand? There it is. No response on neuro exam. There we go. So, pupils equal round reactive to light, no extraocular movements. Move you back on over to the bed. I know you're doing okay. We're trying to get a hold of your family. We're going to take good care of you. The heart rate of 37. Do we have a pulse with that? Is there a check. pulse? I have no, no pulse. I have no distal it. pulse and get no central pulse. Start compressions. Yep. What do we have? What has she gotten for blood so far? Uh, two units of whole blood and I can take over two take. We're on platelets. Okay, right? we need mo keep the massive transfusion coming. We need more blood from them. We have the large board double lumen catheter in the groin. Hold compressions. Holding. Do we have a pulse? No pulse. No pulse. The time for epi. And cardiac. No cardiac motion. Asystole. No, that's all. Time of death. 
Oh, God. 11.15. Oh, bless you, Taylor. Taylor was in a car crash today. Uh, while I was not at the scene, my understanding was that she was a passenger in a car that was being driven by an intoxicated high school student. However, despite doing everything that we possibly could, she did not survive. Questions for me? So this is uh, Jamil, yep. he's 18 years old, he was involved in a uh, motor vehicle accident, he was the restrained driver. Just a closer palpable, wiggle your toes. Squeeze my finger. This hand too. So, uh, no movement of the bilateral lower extremities, but movement of the bilateral upper extremities. Pelvis stable, pain in this leg. Nope, pain in this leg, nothing. So, Jamil was in a car crash today. Um, he, my understanding, I was not at the scene, but my understanding was that he was driving and he was hit by another car. Uh, my understanding, although again not at the scene, was this was driven by an intoxicated high schooler. He is paralyzed from the waist down and that is permanent. <laughs> Um, when, when can I see him? I'm so sorry this happened to you. Hey guys, this is Claire. She's 18 years old. 5'1", 110 pounds. She was the restrained right rear passenger of a MBA. Um, right now, her chief complaint is going to be head, neck, and back pain. She is intoxicated, and uh, she was a little slightly combative for us on scene. Although uh, we were able to transport her okay. in C-spine. Yeah, fine. She does have a, a partly a... One, one two inch lack on the frontal three. frontal lobe of her forehead. Right, you just stay calm, okay? Only other visible trauma. Okay. What's your name? Okay. I'm Dr. Katz, I'm a trauma surgeon. Right. Get the clothes off, cut them off, let's go. Okay. Take some deep breaths in and out. Again. So anyways, clear, breast sounds are clear by my Have you okay. been drinking today? A little bit. A little bit. Do you drink every day? No. Just stay down where you are. We don't want you to get up. Yeah. We need you to hold still. We're going to get some CAT scans. We need you to hold still, okay? All right. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. You're just going to have to stay down. So Claire was in a car crash today. Uh, she was, uh, she is intoxicated, but she was not driving. However, the driver also was intoxicated. You have to understand another person in the car died. So she was in, in a car where someone died, which means that she basically just dodged the bullet. Guess we're drinking. How are you told me to get gets a soul and we were just trying to have fun. And Drinking? Decided, drink? Drinking. And then decided to get in the car. We had to get to school. Department 16 of the Superior Court of the State of California in and for the East County of San Diego is now in session. The Honorable Judge Patricia K. Cookson presiding. Please be seated and come to order. All right, uh, are there any matters that we need to take up before we conduct this hearing? No, I'd like to draw your attention to February the 29th of 2024 at around uh, 10 in the morning. Did you receive a radio call about a crash? I did. Could you tell us about the nature of that radio call? Uh, the radio call came out that there was a wrong way vehicle that had gone head on with another vehicle inside of the parking lot at Ramona High School. Now, at some point in time when you were at the scene of Ramona High School, did you start to do a DUI evaluation of Maddie? Yes, I did. Why did you do that? Uh, there was alcohol uh, containers within the vehicle, outside the vehicle. Um, the entirety of the interior of the vehicle smelled of alcohol. Did you ultimately have her do any sort of field sobriety tests or take a breath test? Yes. What were the results of that breath test? Oh, uh, point. 1.5 and 0.15 percent. You recognize that when you're evaluating someone's sobriety that you are to take into account that they may have just been in a very serious accident, correct? The decision you made today has affected 
all of our lives forever. You took the life of our 17-year-old daughter who was enjoying her senior year with her best friends. Kyle had this ability to fall asleep like, like that. And I just thought, he's sleeping, he'll wake up. But um, that's not gonna happen. I know you regret the decision and um, I really hope you're the best in life, but uh, I just wanna let you know you uh, really hurt me, my whole family, and you hurt a lot of other families. You hurt Claire's family, you hurt Taylor's family, you definitely hurt Kyle's family. Maddie, while you cannot fix the damage you have done, I hope and pray that you will try and make amends for the remainder of your life. My name is Lauren Cannon. I'm Claire's dad. I also kind of feel like Maddie's dad. Um, I'm um, over all the time, and I, I'm just really, Claire's as much guilty as you are. Her blood alcohol level was above a .15 at just after 10 in the morning on a school day. I'd like the court to consider the possibility of allowing her to serve her appropriate time in prison, but leaving her enough life afterwards that she can come out and potentially make positive changes for others. Nothing that I say or do will take back my actions of today. And I will forever regret the people that I hurt. I would like to apologize for the pain, the hurt, the suffering that you guys have all gone through, for your kids that won't be returning. Um, Madison does take fault in this. She knows she knew better. The court feels incumbent upon selecting the upper term the court is going to sentence you to a total term of 20 years in state prison. I'm also going to order, according to the California Department of Motor Vehicles, a one-year license suspension upon your release on parole, and the court is going to order restitution. Deputy Quinn, please remand the defendant to begin her term in state prison. Okay.